Let's be honest. It's been a few months. Most of, it been, most of us have been stuck inside our homes most of the time. And everyone needs an outlet for the energy that we store inside. For one local teenager, well, she just happened to find that release in a strange place. This is Emma Hinkson's tiny little studio. Uh, art's just a way to express herself. With her tiny little brushes. Art, there's no limit to it. I guess, like, in a way, there's no limit to it, so you can do whatever you want. And her tiny little canvases, plain old rocks. That's so cute, oh, I like it. Like every other student in Las Vegas, Hinkson is stuck at home, unable to finish her last semester at Gwynn Middle School. So to pass the time, she paints rocks. I was just bored. <laughs> I, I've been losing my mind. This quarantine has done a lot to me. A few weeks ago, Pinkson admits being cooped up started to get to her. It Brooke is. Middledorf is her art really teacher cool. and provided a spark. I went to my mailbox and I looked down and there's rocks on the ground around my mailbox. And I looked down and just laying there on the ground is this cute little painted egg. It made me smile and it made me feel so good just to think that somebody left a rock there. That was it. Maybe that would be a good idea to make my neighbor smile, you know? You see, in the beginning, those rocks didn't belong to Hinkson. You want to go that way? Okay, we're going this way. They kind of became hers. So you're a rock thief. As so, <laughs> I guess. Over here, come here. Hinkson's artistic release was to take a piece of her neighborhood with her and brighten it. I think on a rock that was maybe about maybe like this size and took it home with me and painted a ladybug on it. When her mom told me that, I just, I just start, first of all, started cracking up, and then at some point, I think I teared up because I was so proud of her. Over the last few weeks, Hinkson has left dozens of rocks around her Spring Valley home. The only difference is now, she's not stealing rocks. Her father just bought some. It's cute. Until normal life returns, Hinkson is determined to continue her abnormal form of public art. She hopes it brings a pebble of joy in the avalanche of the unknown. Maybe I can make some people smile. <laughs> they might hate me after it, but you know. And Hinkson actually isn't the only Gwynn Middle School art student that's exploring public art. Middledorf says there are others in that class that are working on sidewalk art, oh. murals, other displays, and then they're sharing them in the virtual classroom that they're all dealing with right now. So they're finding ways to get out of the house a little bit and uh, find ways to express themselves as they're going through what we're all going through right now. You know, that's a real creative outlet, and the fact that she's sharing it with mm. neighbors and everything, it's just, it's a wonderful way to just say, hey, we're all in this together and you're not out there alone and I'm thinking of you. I will point out though, I asked her what do the neighbors say about this and I got the impression that most of the neighbors don't know except they might know now. So if you live <laughs> near her in the Spring Valley area and you see some rocks that don't look normal, now you know where they're coming from. <laughs>